please like, comment, and subscribe. It would be a big help to me and my boss. Hey there, Internet. My name is AdamScout122, and today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Son Goku Super Warrior Awakens version, and because it apparently still matters that we have to take a look at the packaging, yeah, on this side you have him going, ah, I'm a Super Sandwich. Over here it says SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Son Goku Super Warrior Awakens version, some stuff and things in Japanese that I can't read, Toei Animation License Grant, uh, Bandai Funimation, all that stuff. Super Saiyan Son Goku ooh, Super Warrior Awakens version. That's where it'll let you see it was $49.99. He's got poses. He can do this, that, the other, and we'll get all into that good stuff down there. No aura included. Anyway, more stuff and things in Japanese and red and black, and I still can't read it because I don't speak the language. Or read the language in this case. Over here you got a Super Saiyan Son Goku Super Warrior Awakens version, and then a SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Son Goku Super Warrior Awakens version, and that's it. I actually need that back of that has accessories in it. Okay, now I can get rid of this. Perfect. Anyway, the sculpting and detail work on this figure looks absolutely incredible. I love it. I love it. I love it. From his super luscious Super Saiyan locks to his damn abs dough. It really, they really look like they took time and care into this figure with how they ripped up his gi but made it so it's not like falling apart or anything. And to top it off, this figure feels solid. I mean, ain't nothing coming off that. Not at all. It looks great. Now for accessory. Actually, no, no, we'll get into accessories in a second. Let's take a look at his posability. His head can wiggly waggly on this ball joint. You got some, I guess, chicken action because his neck's on another ball joint down there. Or more of a hinge joint, actually. Just the lighting. His shoulders can swivel forward and then back again. Move your hair. Forward, back, upwards that far, downwards that far. Uh, uh. Swivel here. I just forgot what's the part of that body. Bicep swivel, there we go. <laughs> Elbow bend, full range, wrist swivel, and he can move, he can pivot it too. Up and down, and I love that about this figure. His waist is on a swivel, it's kind of stiff though. Do not let that discourage you, that's just how it is. I bet, but I bet if I get, open this up, like took it apart, put some dish soap in there, it'll loosen up nicely. But never use too much dish soap when loosening joints. That just could destroy it. And then you'll have to go get the floor polish and... Yeah. Anyway. Nice spread for doing those high high Super Saiyan kicks. Backward that much. Forward that much. So, you could do the full splits. Knee has... Full range of movement. You got a thigh swivel. If you look in here, it's sculpted. His um, you'll notice that his gi is sculpted. This part is sculpted to his leg, so you can still get decent swiveling action of his hips. I mean thighs, not his hips. His hips are further up his leg. I really gotta go back to biology class. Ankle swivel. So a true ankle whatever, as I usually call it. And it's on a ball joint, So, it, and given the shape of his foot and his shoe, it looks natural, and I like that about this figure. And a toe bend. Which looks incredible. This, which makes this guy look even more... Which makes this guy look even more incredible. I do adore this figure. Now, we can get into accessories. All in here. 
throw those onto the table. Put those off to the side because that's what because this doesn't come with like the usual sandwich bag that Figma figures come with. He's got these two these two hooked hands, which if you're a true Dragon Ball Z fan, you know that these go with his stance. And uh just to take them off. Almost knocked over my coffee. Because it is really early in the morning when I'm recording this. And by early, I mean not that early at all. Like 10.55. I just have a really odd sleeping schedule. Anyway, odd sleeping schedules aside. Put that in there. And you could even get him into his signature fighting, his iconic fighting pose. If it'll let me, if it'll stand. There we go. That just looks amazing. Anyway, he's also got a pair of these sort of relaxed hands. And they pop off and pop on the same way. These hands, these opened hands for the spirit bomb, I guess, or solar flare, or key blast, what have you. These different faces. And these hands, and I think we all know what these hands are for. Hang on, let me... But first, let's show off the faces before we get to the grand finale. I'm just going to replace his fist real quick. Like I said, they just pop off, pop back on. But if the connection is too tight, I recommend taking just shoving a hairdryer over it for like a couple... For like, not even a minute, and it'll loosen up the plastic enough just so it could go on easier. Anyway, to switch out his face, you pull off his bangs, throw them aside, pull off his face. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Bad. Bad movie versus Optimus Prime. No, no pulling off faces for you. And then you pop on either... This clenched teeth face and put the bangs back on. And yeah, that looks amazing too. Or, if you want to do something more drastic like charging up his key or what we're about to do, you're gonna, you're gonna want this face on, the yelling face. So let's put this here. Let's pick out your hands. These ones specifically. Put all that over there. Tear off his fists like a madman. Put them over there. Pop this on here. And I'm putting it on off camera. Uh, this is kind of hard to put on. Especially when I'm like doing it around the camera. Which is really just a big old iPad. Alright, here we go. And if you saw on the back of the box that I'm not getting up to go get. Because I don't want, I just simply don't want to. Cup his hands. Getting ready to charge up that epic folk, the most epic point of any episode of Dragon Ball Z. The Kamehameha. Which he totally thought up on his own and didn't learn steal from Master Roshi. Just like the Kaioken in the Solar Flare. You would know that joke if you watch Dragon Ball Z abridged. Love those guys. Check out Team Four Star. They're amazing. But yeah. Anyway... And then you could also you could also bring up his arms. Uh, the creaking of the plastic. Oi. No, I'm just trying to get it like all evenly situated, so it looks natural. Because you can do that. That's what I like about the joints on this figure. They're good at making poses look from a piece of plastic look 
natural. Eh. There we go. Kamehameha! Oh, I love that show. I love that anime. I just love anime. Anyway, let's take a look at those size comparisons. Stand him up here. Just, you know what? I'm, I'm going to change his face real quick. Just at least his face. Because I'm running low on time on my iPad and. I don't want to be stared at by, like, ah, face. Alright, so let's do that. Move that off to the side. Move you a little over here. Here we have him with Darth Vader, Deadpool, Megatron. Anyway, I give this figure a 10 out of 10 because it is just so well done, so solid, it doesn't feel... Like it's going to fall apart on my hands at any given moment. It looks incredible. I should really get a turntable for this segment of it. <sighs> but I love this figure. I absolutely love this figure. I got this at Anime... At uh, Liberty City Anime Con. At the Lunar Toy Store booth that they had there. It was incredible. That con. If you saw my, um debriefing on it, just uh, please watch it. Um, also, I'm going to be at li uh, Anime NYC this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, if you see me, come say hi, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I already made an, um, if you want to see, like, the announcement video of, like, me going there or whatever, that's on, uh, Let's Fighting Love's channel. I'll pop a link to that in the description below. And I'll see all you dudes there. So anyway, my final thoughts on this figure are, I give it a 10 out of 10, not only because it's beautifully sculpted, but because it has amazing posability and is solid. And going forward, since this is my first Figma figure, I am going to expect a lot from Figma and SH Figure Arts. This has kind of spoiled me, and this has set a standard for me. Anyway, that's all the time I have for now, so please be a beautiful person. Go down in the description down below, check out my friends, Blazy Blake, The Layman, and Sakura Hirono Girl. That will be much obliged. Remember to like, comment, and become a sub scrub today. And to top that off, I will see all you dudes later, and possibly an anime and what insane! Take it away, stay! Hello again, Steve the Nerdy Nucko, and uh, just want to let you know that Let's Finding Love is still a thing, so go check that out on the Let's Finding Love channel at your leisure. And of course, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, this has been Steve the Nerdy Nucko signing you off, and I'll see all you later.